Welcome to the Potter Blog site, January 3rd, 2014, H1N1 swine flu. We suspect that the red and orange dots on this map uh, represent locations in the United States that have the greatest possibility or greatest risk of near-term H1N1 outbreak. Uh, there are other factors that are not shown in this map, but uh, if you're in one of these red or orange counties and you're a high wealth county, then uh, your risk is increased. Uh, additionally, if you're on this map in red and orange, or, or even yellow, and you have warmer temperatures, uh, you also have an increased risk. Uh, as well as uh, population density also has a factor in terms of people per mile. But again, red and orange on this map are the, we suspect are the strongest likelihood of H1N1 swine flu outbreak this year. Now, the origin of this map ties to uh, people who would potentially attend the Hajj in Saudi Arabia. Now, we suspect the H1N1 virus, uh, while it didn't origi originate at the Hajj, it fine-tuned and honed its capability to infect humans at the Hajj. It seems like this year's source was actually somewhere in the Caribbean, but uh, travel to the Hajj and from the Hajj has basically increased its virulence. Now, for obvious reasons, this is a touchy subject. It shouldn't be, because people should be able to talk about this stuff plainly and clearly, but uh, most people aren't going to talk about it. But if you live in one of these locations, we suspect you have some higher increased risk. Now, we also suspect that if you live in these one of these locations and you have some sort of other tourist or population draw, then there are also some secondary risk. Uh, key places among those we su would suspect would be down here in the Orlando theme park region. Be aware.